I am Satosh Gaidankar. Today I am discussing about the control engineering. In the control engineering, I am focusing on the root locus. This is the problem. Not the root locus for the following function. This is a g of s into h of s. k divided by s plus 2, s plus 4 into s plus 6 into s plus 8. Now this I am referring as a numerator and this is nothing but denominator. Numerator refers as a number of zeros and denominator refers as a number of poles, poles and zeros. Now first step, number of poles, number of poles. If you count it, there are four poles, one, two, three, four. This is a concept of S-plane, okay? This is the concept of S-plane. This we call as an imaginary axis. This is the real axis. At the this position, there are four poles are lying here. In terms of minus two, minus four, minus six, and minus eight, it lies here. Okay, let me think. number of poles P is equal to four, where S is nothing but minus two, comma minus four, comma minus 6 comma minus 8 plot it in this way is equal to minus 2 this is equal to minus 4 this is equal to minus 6 this is equal to minus 8 this is nothing but minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 and minus 8 second number of zeros number of zeros there are no zeros therefore z is equal to 0 number of zeros next is number of branches number of branches number of branches here p is greater than z therefore n is equal to p is nothing but 4 if z is greater than p then you have to n is equal to z is equal to whatever the number Next, fourth point, number of branches terminating at infinity, number of branches terminating at infinity, here formula will be P minus Z, where P is nothing but 4, Z is 0, therefore 4. Four patches are terminating at infinity. Next, fifth point is root locus is symmetry about the real axis. Always the root locus will be symmetry about the real axis. Symmetrical about real axis. Sixth, root locus present on the real axis. Real axis. Next, seventh, angle of asymptotes. Asymptotes. Now, what is the formula for angle of asymptotes? Theta k is equal to 2k plus 1 into 180 divided by p minus z, where p is nothing but, sorry, k is nothing but 0, 1, 2, and so on. p minus z minus 1. Now, what is p here? p is nothing but 4, z is nothing but 0, minus 1, that is 3. You have to take k value. 0, 1, 2, 3. Up to 3 you have to take. Up to 3 you have to take the k values. Now substitute the k value here in this formula. And theta is equal to 0. 2 into 0 plus 1 into 180 divided by 4 minus 0. This will be 45. And theta 1 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1 into 180 
divided by 4 minus 0, this will be 135. Theta 2 is equal to 2 into 2 plus 1, 180 divided by 4 minus 0, this will be 225. Theta 3 is equal to 2 into 3 plus 1, 180 divided by 4 minus 0, this will be 315. Now centroid you have to find out. Centroid. What is the formula for centroid? Summation of P minus summation of Z divided by P minus Z. Now what is summation of P? Means these values you have to substitute. Minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, minus 0. Zeros are 0, 0. That is nothing but 0 divided by what is the p value p is 4 z value 0 summation means you have to add or subtract the answer for this one is minus 5 minus 5 next we have to find out the breakaway point breakaway point you have to follow the breakaway point breakaway point breakaway point you have to consider the characteristic equation that is 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0 1 plus you have to write this expression here in place of g of in place of g of s into h of s, you have to write in this expression. k divided by s plus 2, s plus 4, s plus 6 into s plus 8. And this can be written as This can be written directly. I will write here. I have to write s plus 2, s plus 4, s plus 6, s plus 8, and this term plus k is equal to 0. You have to write in this way. Okay. First, you have to write this part and you have to bring the k at the bottom. Okay. Next. We keep aside this one. Next, solve this one. If you solve, solve, it becomes what? This two and this two, you can solve it. It becomes s square plus 4s plus 2s plus 8. Next, these two I will solve. S square plus 86 plus 6s plus 48. Again, I will solve plus k is equal to 0. Now, I will multiply these two. This become s to 4 plus 14s cube plus 48s square plus 6s cube plus 84 s square plus 288s plus 8s square plus 112s plus 184 plus k is equal to 0. Now s raised to 4, this, this is a thing but plus 20 s cube. Next 140 square this and this is a thing but 140 square plus 
this and this. One forty square plus one one two. This is four hundred. Yes, plus I'll consider this a problem. Three eight four plus k is equal to zero. Be this way. is equal to zero. I will consider the k term here and everything this side it becomes minus s raised to 4 plus 20 s cube plus 140 s square plus 400 s plus 384. Next, you have to do dk by ds is equal to 0. Differentiate this one. I will neglect the negative sign. If you consider also, you will obtain the same result. If you consider this negative sign, you will obtain the same result. I will differentiate this term. It will be 4s cube plus 60s square plus 280 yes plus 400 is equal to 0 then find out the root with the help of the calculator root of the equation for this one is yes is nothing but minus 2.76 first one next is minus 7.24 and one more minus 5 the three roots if you substitute in the calculator, you will obtain three groups. Next is tenth point. Tenth point, crossover point. Crossover point of the root locus. Locus with imaginary axis axis here you have to use the RH criteria RH criteria you have to use or root array one and set for this one, you have to take this expression. Plus 20. Why we have to take? Because of the k term. Because of k term, we have to consider this one, this expression. Plus 140 is square for 400 years. Plus 384 plus k. Okay, is equal to zero. I will consider this part here. Next, yes, just to four, yes, cube, yes, square, yes, just to one, yes, zero. Now one, four, one, twenty. Next, one forty. You are right here. Four hundred. Next, here you are right. Three eighty-four plus k. First one is one. Third, 20, again 140 here. Next is 400. Again, this side is nothing but 384 plus k. You are right. Okay, next cross multiply in this way. This is the rule for the RH criteria. That is 20 into 140 minus 400 into 1 divided by first term 20. It will be 120. Write 120 here. Next, this term, and you have to consider 0 here, again this term. That means 20 into 384 plus k minus 0 into 1 divided by 20. It will be 384 plus k. 0. Again, next, next term. This and this you have to multiply. 
120 into 400 minus 384 plus k into 20. divided by 120 divided by 120 the expression for this one is 40320 minus 20k 20k divided by 120 substitute this value appears and this value will be 40320 minus 20k divided by 120 0 and final expression will be this term as it is if you cross multiply you will obtain only this part in this way 40320 minus 20k divided by 120 into 384 plus k is equal to 0 this is 0 divided by 40320 minus 20k divided by 120 this and this cancels and it remains as it is 384 plus k okay first you have to find out the k term for finding the k term this you have to consider 40320 minus 20k divided by 120 is greater than or equal to 0 next 0 120 go this side minus 20k is equal to minus 40320 this and this cancel k value will be 20 divided by this value is nothing but 2016 the k should be less than 2016 if, it, if, if uh, the graph should be stable for the stability if it is more than this one more than 0 1 6 it will be unstable equal to it become partially stable okay next consider this term for uh, for uh, seeing the imaginary axis where the imaginary axis cuts this term we are considering consider s square term imaginary axis where the imaginary axis cut we have to consider the s square term I'll consider this one 120 s square plus 384 plus k is equal to 0 this expression I am considering now here 120 s square plus 8384 k value will be 2016 equal to 0 if you if you calculate in the calculator expression will be s is equal to plus or minus 4.47 j that means this is the values they are obtained this is the imaginary axis this is the values you have this is the real axis okay i will draw the values in the graph First, I will consider the scale. The scale will be 1 is to 1. Scale 1 is to 1. This is the imaginary axis j omega or j this is the real axis sigma this is also real axis sigma is the imaginary axis <coughs> this is 1 plus j 2j 3j 
फोर जे फाइव जे सिक्स जे सेवन जे एंड सो नेक्स्ट माइनस वन जे माइनस टू जे माइनस थ्री जे माइनस फोर जे माइनस फाइव जे माइनस सिक्स जे एंड माइनस सेवन जे यू माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर माइनस फाइव माइनस सिक्स माइनस सेवन माइनस एट माइनस नाइन माइनस टेन सो वन फर्स्ट यू हैव टू डिनोट द नंबर ऑफ पोल्स नंबर ऑफ पोल्स व्हाट आर द नंबर ऑफ पोल्स द पोल्स आर डिनोटेड बाय एक्स मार्क हियर द पोल्स आर माइनस टू माइनस टू इज द माइनस टू माइनस टू माइनस फोर माइनस फोर माइनस सिक्स माइनस एट दीज आर द पोल्स ना वेयर द रूट लोकस हैज टू ड्रॉन यू हैव टू कंसिडर इन दिस वे दिस इज द पोल यू हैव टू कंसिडर इन दिस वे और दिस इज ओनली सिंगल एक्स मार्क इज देर दिस इज इंडिकेट ऑड यू कैन ड्रॉ रूट लोकस यू ना Next, you have to consider this part. There are two poles. It is nothing but E1. That means in this part, there is no root locus exist. Next, you have to see in this way. There are three poles. That means the root locus can be drawn here. Next, just imagine there is an infinite. There is no root locus can be drawn here because there are four number. Four is nothing but E1 number. Okay, first you have to consider in this way. This is single pole. This is nothing but odd. Therefore, you can draw a root locus here. Next, you have to consider this part. There are two poles, E1. There is no need to for the root locus. Next, you have to consider here. There are three E1 uh, poles. Therefore, again you have to draw the. Therefore, the root locus lies between minus four, minus two, minus six, and minus eight. Minus it. X mark indicate poles. Zeros can be indicated by a circle. This indicates zero. There is no zeros in this. It is problem. Okay. Next, after getting this one, first you have to find out what centroid. What is the value of centroid? Centroid is nothing but five. This is the five. This is the five centroid. Centroid is five. Then sigma is equal to minus five. Uh, what is the angle here? They are given at angle forty five degree. Forty five degree. From the centroid, with the help of protector, forty five degree. Forty-five degree. On this part, it is forty-five degree. Next is one thirty-five. One thirty-five. From this part to this part is one thirty-five. Next is two thirty five. Sorry, two to five. Just extend this one. We'll open two thirty five. If you measure it, it will be theta two will be two to five. Next one fifteen. Just extend this part. It will be one fifteen. Three one five. It will be three fifteen. If you measure it, it will be three fifteen. Okay. Next, after getting this values,
Next, what we have to find out? Breakaway point. Let's see the breakaway point. This is a breakaway breakaway points. Breakaway points where it is located. Now, first one is uh, minus two point seven six minus two point seven six. Approximately here. BAP is nothing but minus two point seven six, and it located in the this part root locus. Next is about seven point okay seven point two four seven point two four one more BAP minus seven point two four. What about five? There is no root locus here. There is no red line here. Okay, this has to be neglected. Now, go for the imagination term where the imaginary axis will be cut here plus 4.47 4.47 approximately 5 here here 4.47 you are given at 4.47 right here, here plus 4.47 J minus 4.47 J. Now I'll draw parallel to this one. And arrow should be when uh, the root locus cuts between this the pole the arrows will be in this direction and next arrow will be upward next similarly 7.22 in this way, approximately you can draw it approximately it has to have the same way okay Approximately, approximately infinity. Both should be same, okay? Approximately. K is nothing but K is equal to zero point zero sorry two zero one six. Okay. Now in BAP minus 2.76, one more BAP breakaway point is minus 7.24. Okay, in this way you have to do the root locus. I am Sutish Gadankar. Thank you very much.